Today, I made a team of all-time wide receivers. Like, this team is full of the best wide receivers that ever played. And because I'm a little crazy in these videos, I spent hours to make sure every team has no wide receivers. Free agency has no bye. wide receivers. Okay, like, there was hundreds of wide receivers when I started, and now there's six, and they're all on my team. Now, if you're new to the channel, I have a whole playlist of this team of series, and we did do wide receivers once before. It's actually my most viewed video ever. And while recording, that video is about 20,000 views away from a million, which is just my mind-blowing to be honest like I've edited videos for Lachlan the X2 twins air rack but it's so humbling to have a video of my own get like that kind of reception like I never thought that was possible when I made that video you guys make this like a dream for me to do and I try to pay that forward by just making fun videos for you guys like recently I did a video where I played every single Madden I also did a video playing Madden on the Apple Vision Pro and there's a whole bunch more in the channel and much more to come so if you like these videos hit the subscribe button hit the like button too while you're at it and maybe even leave a comment it really does make a huge difference to like new people finding these videos every day. And we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. But with all that said, let's check out the team. So we are 69 overall, which nice. nice. But the offense is definitely where this team shines. At running back, we have Tyree Kill, Antonio Brown, and Jimmy Smith. All 99 overalls. At fullback, we have Julio Jones, and the receiver room is stacked. Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, Devontae Adams, and Justin Jefferson. Like, this is an insane combination of receivers. And of course, I had to include Josh Cribbs to return some punts. At tight end, we have Larry Fitzgerald, Andre Johnson, and Mike Evans. Now, here's where the overalls start to go down a bit. On the line, Heinz Ward is somehow a 76 overall. I mean, he was a really good run blocker. But then Sterling Schreiber's a 28, Harold Carmichael's a 53, Don Hudson's a 32 and Andre Reed's a 41. Like the lion might struggle a little bit, but then defensively, Torrey Holt and Brandon Marshall on the left end, Chris Carter and Raymond Berry at the right end, and then at linebacker, Tim Brown, DeAndre Hopkins, Terrell Owens at a 78 overall somehow, and Plaxico Burris, who could be pretty good if he doesn't like shoot himself in the leg. And cornerback's another pretty stacked room. There's Deshaun Jackson, Michael Irvin, Marvin Harrison, Isaac Bruce, and Devin Hester, who actually started his career at cornerback. Also needed him here because he's the best kick returner of all time. And at safety, we have Chad Johnson. Kicker, we have OBJ, who's a 75 overall. And now last but not least, you're probably wondering who's the quarterback. Art Monk is a 68 overall. I think the first time around, our quarterback was like Braxton Burmeester at like a 52 overall. So this is a massive step up. And because these are the best receivers of all time, the entire offense is superstar X Factor, and so is the defense. Also, it's hilarious because of all the roster moves I had to do. Like, look how long this practice squad player sign list is. Like it literally goes off screen. Now, before we jump into the first game, I'm going to take 30 seconds to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, manscaped.com slash Weege. At this point, I use basically all of Manscaped's products, but recently I've been loving the Beard Hedger and Handyman. The Beard Hedger is great because it includes a built-in zoom wheel with 20 different cutting lengths, but I also love a close shave, which the Handyman is perfect for. Equipped with a foil shaver, as well as a long hair blade. And I love to finish it all off with the Crop Soother, which gives me a moisturizer and soothing relief for the ultimate comfort aftershave. Join the over 10 million people worldwide who trust Manscaped for their group and hygiene. Now, as of right now, March is the last month. You could use my link or promo code WEEDS20 to get 20% off plus free international shipping for all your grooming needs. So make sure you don't miss out. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Now, I genuinely have no idea how this team is gonna perform this year. They're gonna get the first down there. I recently did a video with a 99 overall offense, but zero overall defense. I think that drop is the effect of the fact that it was probably like a fullback catching the ball, but oh no, here we go. Can we tackle him? All right, we can push him out of bounds. But yeah, the 99 overall offense, that team, oh my God, he just picked it. That wasn't even me. Devin Hester just snagged that ball. Yeah, so the 99 offense and zero overall defense that team actually did pretty well jefferson's uncovered on the line here so i'm just gonna throw quick to him and yeah he's got that first down i do genuinely think this offense could carry this team to a pretty good record because in madden sim the defense wow he, there was nowhere to run there yeah in madden sim the defense is way less important than the offense now i'm gonna sim the kick because i want to see if he could actually make it on his own and he can't wow i'm actually surprised that was like pretty far but yeah so far defensively we are playing uh, pretty well, but they're gonna get that first down there. Tackling is just our issue, but he fumbles. Oh, Kate Otten picks it up. Another turnover would have been huge, but they're gonna run it up the middle there. Let's actually jump into the sim here to see if the defense could actually hold them out of the end zone, and they can. Now, I haven't done anything offensively so far, so let's see if they can do a little bit better in the sim. Third down now, I'm sure it's gonna be a handoff. Wow, they hand it off to who is that? Andre Johnson loses a yard. Let's sim ahead a little bit more, and it's mid-third quarter down. 
They're down by eight and Art Monk gets sacked. They definitely gotta get some of that back now just to try to get in field goal range. And he throws a pick. I simmed ahead to the end of the game. Uh, yeah, this is a blowout. And Art Monk threw two picks. I mean, there really was no chance. And he just gets hit again for another pick. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we lose this game 34 to six. I'm actually gonna change our formation and defensively as well. Three, four is a much better fit. And I think I'm gonna put us in the Atlanta playbook because that tends to do a lot better in sim. But let's go to the playoffs and see what our record is. All right, I stopped it early just to check. But we're four and four at midseason, second place in the division right now. So I'm feeling a bit better about it now. So let's go all the way to the playoffs now. Wow, we went 10 and seven. Madden sim is busted. What are the stats behind this? Kind of an average year for Monk. 3,500 yards, 28 touchdowns. Rushing Tyreek had about 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns. And we had no thousand yard receivers. I mean, nine touchdowns for Fitz, five for Moss, seven for Johnson, and six for Jefferson. I mean, I guess we just really spread the ball around a lot. Did we do anything defensively? Nine and a half sacks for T.O. No way. And Devin Hester had five interceptions. Four for T.O. as well. Four for Deshaun Jackson, two for Edelman. We had the 15th ranked offense and the 31st ranked defense. Wow, I thought the defense was gonna be way better by those stats. So Mahomes won MVP. I think I never even mentioned it, but because I used the Legends roster as like the base build to get all the players in their ratings. Dan Marino finished second in the MVP. Now you could say a team of wide receivers would be enough of a challenge, but instead I decided to add legends to every other team too. Which means in the wild card round, we are going up against the 10 and seven Joe Montana led 49ers. I accidentally simmed a full quarter. It's 14 seven in the second now. We're at the 11, they hand off to Hill who gets stuffed. So we're gonna cut the lead to three with this field goal. And this Vikings team is keeping this game tight. But let's see if they can keep the 49ers out of the end zone here. They check it down, can't tackle Frank Gore. They need a stop here before half to stay in this game. Wait a second, hold on a second. No, I can't exit. Steve Young is playing wide receiver. He's at the bottom of the screen and they get the touchdown. He actually caught the ball on that previous play, but I couldn't uh, get the replay. But yes, yeah, Steve Young is playing wide receiver for the 49ers. That's hilarious. So I sim to the fourth. The Vikings have made a comeback. It is tied at 24, but Art Monk is going to get sacked. That is not the play they needed on first down. It's going to be a screen. Uh, what is happening? Two very messy plays to start, and they run a read option to Monk, who's going to gain a huge bounty yards there and the first down. So now there's 45 seconds left. They are close to field goal range. Monk is going to run again from the 32 now. They got to get it close for OBJ, and I imagine they're going to run it here. Hopefully the 49ers will use their last time out, it's fourth and inches. A first down there would have let them kill the clock, but OBJ nails it. So now the 49ers have 30 seconds and no timeouts. Let's see what they can do here. They have George Kittle there, I think. Down to 10 seconds now though. They gotta get it deep and out of bounds and they chuck it deep here, not caught, four seconds left. So it's basically the last play of the game here. I mean, they're gonna chuck it deep, I imagine. Montana has all day, throws it deep, nowhere near the end zone, and wow, we win 27 to 24. So now it's the divisional against the 12 and five Roger Staubach led Cowboys. We're gonna sim ahead a bit in this game. So they're down 10-3 in the third. They're gonna throw it quick. I think that's Randy Moss. Need to get a touchdown on this drive. No field goals, Antonio Brown with a spin move and he's down to the one. Will they be able to punch it in from here with Julio Jones? And they can. Did not expect a Julio Jones rushing touchdown in this video. So now can the Cowboys answer? They're gonna get the first down here. At the 12 now, Staubach does not have backup quarterbacks as his wide receivers, but he gets sacked. It feels like points are pretty much guaranteed here. They're gonna hand it off to Smith. If the Vikings can get a stop and call a timeout, they're gonna have a lot of time to go down to try to score a touchdown. So they're down by three with a minute 40 left. They only got one timeout to work with here. A sack is not what they want, but they're gonna run. Let's hope he gets out of bounds. He doesn't. About a minute 15 left. They got, whoa, that was almost uh, dangerous with the ball in the air. It did stop the clock, but they need a first down here and they don't get that. So now the season is on the line. Don't do anything crazy. Just get the sure yardage and they throw a pick to Micah Parsons. Wow, that's really how it's gonna end. A Micah Parsons pick and they lose 13 to 10 against the Cowboys. That is a tragic outcome. Well, this confirms this sim is busted because the Cowboys won the Super Bowl 49 to 21 against the Chiefs. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. Honestly, the team of all time wide receivers did really well. One day I should really do a tournament where I put all these teams from this series into one league. Leave a like if you want that. But anyway, with all that said, I'll see you guys next time. Be good people.
slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right?